Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Tonight I have a special treat for you. I am going to be focusing on some retiring products and it's always hard to say goodbye. That's our theme for the Stampers Doesn't Blog Hop this month. I'm going to be showing you some really quick and easy cards using the beautiful Friendship Stamp Set and I'm pairing it up with the best plaid dies. These are called best plaid builder dies. They are overlapping and I think you're really going to like them. I'm having a lot of fun with them. Let's flip this camera around and I'll show you exactly how to make some really cool cards. We're going to start off by going over our card stock. So I decided to use some Coastal Cabana. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And by the way, you can always find dimensions, still photos, all the ingredients for my projects on my blog right here. And you'll find a link to the actual blog post right in the YouTube video where you, under the video, you're going to see some information typed up. You can click on see more there and it'll open up all these links that make it super easy for you to head over there and get all the details if you'd like to recreate these cards. Next up, I have some pool party, and this is just four by five and a quarter. I've also got a piece of white. This looks a little bit bigger than four inches, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna die cut it. So four by five and a quarter pool party, four by five and a quarter whisper white. I'm sorry, basic white. I can't get used to that. We have basic white now. So in these best plaid builder dies, you get two different dies in here. These are retiring, I'm sad to say. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this one on my pool party layer. I'm going to use this detailed one on my basic white layer. And my layers are just a little bit smaller than the die itself, so I'm just going to center them so that my plaid ends up being in the center of my cardstock layers. So hang tight. I'm going to run these through my die cutting machine. I'll be right back. Once I have these die cut, I'm going to bring them into my little die brush box. And I like to leave my die on my cardstock and do this because you can be a little more aggressive with your die brush because your die is kind of protecting it. And I like to get out all the little bits before I put it away. And you can see these come out pretty easy. A little bit more here. You want to be a little more gentle when you don't have that die on there protecting your cardstock. Look at how nice that is. I love this thing. Okay, the next one here is much easier, right? And then we're just going to use the pokey end of our take your pick tool to pull this plaid pattern out. So these work really nice. They cut out really nice. I haven't had any issues with them and they come out really nice. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing here is I'm going to add this basic white layer to my card front. And I think liquid glue is probably the easiest, best way to do that. Just gonna put a little bit on these bigger areas. And then we're gonna center this on the front of our card. There we go. Now, this pool party plaid layer, oh, hang on, I didn't get that very centered, did I? This is what I like about the glue. You can slide it around a little bit. It works out pretty good. And then I'm just going to take and put a little bit of glue on this plaid piece. I like to get the glue on the ends. You want those to definitely lay down. Get this out of the way. Okay. 
You want to make sure you're using just a tiny bit of glue too. You don't want it to be squishing out from underneath your layer. Oops. That's never going to go well. There we go. And then I'm going to just add this right over top. And I'm looking at my left side here so that it meets up and my bottom. And if your left side beats up with your white layer and your bottom meets up with your white layer here, you're going to get this on here centered so that it meets the edges on the other two sides. That's what I concentrate on. And I think sometimes that's just helpful to know. And look at how cool that is, right? So I've got this done. The other layers that we have here, I've got a scrap of basic white and I planned on using my stitched shape circle. And then I've also got a scrap of vellum that I'm going to use a larger, look at my finger there. I'm sorry about that, that looks terrible. It hurts too. <laughs> um, this is the stitched, or I'm sorry, the circle dies, and this is one of the scallop ones that's a little bit bigger. Okay, so once I die cut those, I'm gonna end up with a couple layers like this. And this is where I'm going to bring in my stamp set, this beautiful friendship. And this is kind of a watercolor images. I love those, like those always attract me. And this is a beautiful set, some gorgeous fonts with some nice sentiments. I'm going to use the birthday sentiment I've got my mom's birthday is actually Thursday. So I'm kind of excited about that. And I think this is going to be her birthday card and I know she's gonna love it. So I've got some memento black ink here and I'm going to take my sentiment and kind of stamp it right over at the side. Birthdays are the best days. And I love this font. I love how nice and crisp it looks. Then we're going to bring in some color. So I've got Coastal Cabana here with Pool Party. And I'm thinking I'm going to use some Coastal Cabana ink. You could use Pool Party too. Either one would work nicely. I'm gonna grab some of these little elements and I'm just going to stamp on this sentiment layer. How about this one? Now I'm just gonna keep this in the same colors. You could of course do different colors if you wanted. Look at how pretty that is. It's just very striking. And then we're going to add this to our vellum layer. A little bit of glue. I said these were quick and easy cards and they really are quick and easy. We've got a sentiment layer our plaids and card bases. We're gonna do a little bit on the inside too, just because we can, and the stamp set is so darn pretty. And I don't know if I said, beautiful friendship, also retiring. So that um, Stampin' Up! guarantees their stamp sets to be available until the 23rd of April. And then after that point, if they run out of stock, they will not produce anymore. So just know that. Then I decided that some black and white twine, this is part of the Playful Pets trim combo pack. Some of this black and white twine would look pretty sharp on here. I'm gonna bring in my little bow jig here. And I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm just gonna do a single bow. So I've got this, and if you don't have one of these, just tie yourself a bow. If anybody is, wants to get their hands on these, all you do is drill some holes in some wood. It's pretty simple, but if you don't have anybody or you can't do that, I do have some of these available. They're $10. Just pop me an email and I will be happy to send you a little invoice and get them off in the mail too. All right, mini glue dot. I'm gonna curl that up just a touch. We're gonna add that right up here. And I just thought this would be a nice little embellish, embellishment. It kinda of adds a pop of, not really color, but a pop of black and white. And isn't that just pretty? Simple, pretty. Then we've got the inside layer. So this is just four 
by five and a quarter, and I thought, ooh, it would be very pretty to stamp some of these flowers on the inside. So I'm gonna use like these bigger, I don't know if these are, um, what are those? I have some out in my yard that bloom in this kind of the spring. Peonies, these remind me of peonies. I was thinking this would look kind of nice right over here. And then we've got this little spriggy deal. And I didn't do this ahead of time, so I'm, I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna look good, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna take this and add it right, oh my gosh. Look at how pretty that is, I love it. Should I put one in here too? Nope, I think just one right there is gonna do it for me. Okay, we'll add this to the inside. Here's our card, and now what about our envelope? I think we really should do something there too, right? So I'm going to take these, what I'm calling peonies, and I'm going to add a peony right there, just kind of coming off that bottom corner. And then I'll put this little black center thing in there. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? So we have the Best Plaid Builder dies, these that are retiring, they're while supplies last. And then we have the beautiful Friendship stamp set. Now, I've got a couple of these ready to roll in two different colors, so let's keep going here. And now I'm going to bring in some purples. This is Highland Heather. I've used the white layer, and then I put Gorgeous Grape on for the top plaid layer and I thought that would be kind of striking, right? So then I've got the same thing going on with my sentiment circle and my vellum and I think I'm going to keep going here with the happy birthday sentiment and of course you could use any of them in here that you would like. I'm going to stamp that and as long as we're doing that I've got another one that I'm going to share with you so I'll stamp this at the same time. We'll have three nice birthday cards ready to roll. I've got my Anna has a birthday on May 1st, so maybe I'll give one of these to her too. Now with the purple, I am going to bring in my Highland Heather ink pad, my gorgeous grape ink pad, and maybe a little pear pizzazz. We'll see. We'll see how much we need to put on here. I'm going to use my lighter color for a bigger flower. Mm, do I want to use the hydrangea? That's what I think this is, is a hydrangea. And I think I do. I'm going to come in here. This may be too dark. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so we're going to use that. And then we have an, um, our inside layer and our envelope, so we can't forget to do that too. So we've got our inside layer, and I think I'm going to stick with the hydrangea. I'm going to put this right over here on the side, and then maybe we'll come in with the gorgeous grape. And this, like, I can't remember what those are called. Delphinium, maybe? I don't know, but they're really pretty. And I used a little darker color there, so I think that's really pretty too. This will be our inside layer. I always like to mess around with different colors. I just think you, um, you've got all this stuff out. Why not just keep going, right? And I love to share that with you. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, so here's this one. We're gonna add this to our front on our little vellum layer. And did anybody see the dimensionals? I don't know what I did with them. Found them. <laughs> I don't know how they get away from me. Do you guys find yourself losing stuff constantly? Like I'm always, and it's just right here. It's right, it didn't go any place. It's just that I can't locate it. Okay, so here comes another. <gasps> Pretty, pretty. And then we definitely want to add this pop, the pop of the black and white twine because I just think that's really striking. 
Another thing I could put on here would be some rhinestones. Maybe we'll do that because that might be really fun too. Oh, for goodness sakes. Get a hold of this. There we go. Oh, my finger sure hurts. There we go. And a mini glue dot. Again, I'm just gonna curl that up a little bit. I don't like my glue dots to stick out from underneath. And when you're using something thin like twine, it's just a good idea to kind of roll them a little bit. And they won't stick in the envelope either. Ooh, how pretty is that? Huh? Get that little hitchhiker off of there. Okay, then we still have our envelope. So I think what I'd like to do here is grab, oh, that's the dark purple. I don't want the dark. I want the Highland Heather. And we're going to do this. And then I thought I'd come in here with this, what I'm calling Wisteria. A little bit of that. And put that right down here. And then let's grab these little leaf. There's two different leaf images in here. You've got the three leaves and the two leaves. I'm going to grab the two leaf and we're going to add a little bit of green right down in here. Oh my gosh, that just really touches it off, doesn't it? I wonder if I could get a little bit of green on here without wrecking this. What do you guys think? This is a little dangerous. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm gonna stick a little bit of scrap in here. <gasps> I love it. What do you think? Yeah, that was risky. Risky business. But I love this. These two are really pretty. Now, I have one more to share with you. If you're gonna stick with me, I'll keep going. Oh, I think maybe I'll leave that green out. I do need to clean up some of these stamps. So let me get that taken care of. Now, I'm going to set this aside. Where'd my other one go? Right over there. Okay. We already did this, right? We have our vellum scalloped circle. And then what do you think about this? This is Daffodil Delight with a white on this plaid background and then black for the thinner plaid. Okay, I think we're gonna go with the, what did I call these peonies? I'm gonna grab my Daffodil Delight ink and I think this time maybe I'll go with these. Um, I, I was gonna go with the peonies but I think for the front I'll go with these and we're gonna call them like crocuses. I don't know. <laughs> Crocuses will work, won't it? So I'll just stamp those right in there. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. How about if we do just a little bit of green on there? Mm, how about like that? Ooh, I like it, like it. Maybe we'll do a little bit more green. How about a little bit coming in? Ooh, right up there. <gasps> just that little touch, right? That little touch goes a long ways. Now I'm gonna come in with my peonies. And I'm gonna put these on my inside. And then I can do that little bit of black with this little thing, whatever it's called. I like it. And then we have our envelope. And again, I'm gonna stick with my peonies. Those right down here on the front of my envelope. And my little black deal. Oh, I love it. And then do we want to add some green in here? I like that these are photopolymer. You can see through them. So you can see where you're going with your green. <gasps> what do you think of that? It's beautiful. Okay, hang on and I'll show you all three of them. Now, I can see a lot of possibilities with the plaid. What do you guys think? Do you, are you seeing a lot of possibilities? Like Christmas would be perfect. Plaid at Christmas is old fashioned. Christmas, I love that. And 
little boys. You could do plaid colors for little boys. You could do baby cards in pink, um, pale green, baby blue. Mm. Really good for man cards. You could do these in rich, regal colors for man cards. <gasps> love this. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get our little bow on here because, of course, the black and white goes with the black and the yellow and the white. Gosh, we are winning today, I think. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this plaid dye. Um, I really do like it. And I think there's just so many possibilities with it. And plus, sometimes it's hard to come up with guy cards. Now, these aren't guy cards, obviously, but plaid certainly would make some great man cards, for sure. So I always kind of gravitate towards products like that. trim this off just a little bit. Perfect. Oh, I need to order some rhinestones. This is about all I have left that I could find. Oh my goodness, how does that even happen? I just like to kind of put three on, right? I don't know, what do you think with the rhinestones? I like it. I think they look good. How about a few more here? There, oh, maybe just one. I like that too. So here's our purple. Let me get these out of here. Here comes our coastal cabana. Let me get a little rhinestone on here. I like. I think I like one with our pretty little envelope. And I don't know. This reminds me of a bumblebee. What do you guys think? Aren't they fun? Oh, I didn't do the inside here. Where'd that layer go? Oh, here it is. I just gotta get it glued in. Oh, I love these. And like I said, I love watercolor images. These flowers are so pretty. So, there you go. We have beautiful friendship. And then we have the best plaid builder dies both retiring. I just want to let you guys know that in case you need to add these to your arsenal of supplies. I always appreciate your orders. This is my host code. If your order is under $150, please use that code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. Also remember that we had a clearance rack refresh um, earlier this week. So you definitely want to check out the clearance rack while you're over there shopping. Some things are up to 60% off. Don't forget to head over to my blog. You're gonna find a link right up here that'll take you there and check out my online classes. I've got a boho indigo um, online class and I've also got an online class using the Healing Hug stamp set, which is retiring and also the Stitched with Whimsy dies. Those are a lot of fun. I've also got bingo going on later this month. That is a whole bunch of fun. Cards and bingo. We make five cards and play four games of bingo in between for fun. So make sure you check that out. Head over to my blog. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will be live Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time for another fantastic stamping class. Have yourselves a great weekend. And thank you for taking a little bit of time to spend with me. Bye-bye.